right, so we're gonna get started with the uh, with the massive darkness orcs here. And I'm painting 15 of these, but um, we're just gonna do it on this one model. Um, and this actually, once I finish painting these orcs, I'm done massive darkness, which is amazing. But we're gonna use uh, Citadel Lauren uh, Lauren Forest for the base coat of the skin. Um, it's a good base. It's a layer paint, and we're actually gonna be using. I'll show you later a base paint for. The, uh, the dry brush on the skin, but we'll get to that. It's a nice color. It's um, a nice orky green, even though it's labeled as forced, but um, I like it for orcs. It's pretty good. If I ever do uh, orcs in uh, Warhammer AOS, I might go for this color. Different thing, uh, different twist. I don't know if uh, any of you guys use uh, Lauren Forest for your orcs, but if you want to get a kind of different green tone on your orc skin, and you like uh, the results of this colors, these colors that I use for the skin of my orcs, um, then you're at the right place. Okay, now that we've got the uh, skin all painted, we're gonna give it a wash of uh, Biltan Citadel shade Biltan green. Um, it's a dark green shade, but this will help definitely define the um, the muscles on this guy. It's uh, your basic green wash. I mean, you can't get any more green than this. All right, happy people. Now that I've done the uh, the wash on the orcs, um, I'm gonna give the skin a dry brush of Death World Forest from Citadel. Um, it's a little bit of a lighter green um, than what this has turned out to be. And it'll help define the muscles on Mr. Orc face over here. So I'm just gonna get a pretty good dry brush, get most of it off, right? And we're just doing ups and downs. Getting in the face, all that stuff. All right, so I finished the uh, dry brush of the uh, green, his skin is done. Um, it looks good, it looks a little choppy right now, but uh, once I start picking out the details and all that stuff of everything else that's on him, it'll stand out more. So now I'm gonna paint the robes with uh, Band Blade Brown. Um, it's a good color for the orcs. Goes good with the green. So I'm gonna paint them all like this. Okay, now that we got the uh, robes all painted on uh, this guy, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the foot wraps and the pouches around his waist with Valor Brown from Citadel. So you'll notice on the feet here, he's got some um, foot wraps and along his waist he's got those pouches. These are both gonna be the same color. You should, like I've said, I've kept this theme um, with all the, the mobs monsters from the Massive Darkness game. Okay, now that I've got the, um, the pouches and the um, straps or the wraps around his feet and his pouches painted, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Doombolt Brown and I'm, I'm going to paint the belts 
on this guy. So he's got a belt um, just around his waist. I'm just gonna get in there carefully. My brush, he does have a buckle, which I'm not gonna paint. But I am gonna get the belt. It kind of comes along the top of the pouches here a little bit. Okay, now that we've finished that quick little part of uh, painting that little tiny belt, the um, other orcs have longer or more belts on them um, to do that, but still the belt is there. We're going to do now the wooden staff or the wooden handle of his axe that he has, um, and we're going to use uh, dried bark from Citadel. And I'm going to be keeping the top part of it. Um, metal, silver, as we call it, but the handle itself is going to be brown. Okay, now that I've done the, uh, the handle of the hammer, the next thing I'm going to do is this guy's hair. I'm going to paint it with uh, Vallejo US Field Drab. Now he's got a couple of strands that go down his neck and you want to be very careful because you don't want to get um, paint all over the place with this step. Okay, now that I've done the hair brown <clears throat> and I've finished all my browns on this guy, I'm gonna give all the browns I painted a wash with Citadel uh, Agre Agrex Earth Shade. So I'm just gonna get in there and get everything that's brown this shade. Now we're gonna go back afterwards and touch up some of the browns. But this is gonna give everything its um, detail. Alright guys, now that I've put the um, brown wash on him, on all the browns that we painted, we're going to highlight first the uh, the handle, we're going to go back with uh, Vallejo uh, US Field Drab, um, and then after that we're going to go to um, the robes, and well, that'll be the next step, highlighting those. So all I'm going to do is grab some of the uh, US Field Drab, and we're just going to give it a bit of a dry brush on the sides to make it look like worn wood. It's a little hard to do this um, when there's no texture on stuff. Alright, now that we did a bit of a dry brush on the, um, the handles of the axe, we're going to do a dry brush on the robe and we're going to use a little bit of lighter brown from Citadel called Carex Stone. This will kind of help the um, the rope pop out a little bit.
now that I've done uh, dry brushing the robes, um, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to base the sleeve of the, um, the sword, the sword sleeve, uh, with deck tan. Also going to dot his eyes with it as well. Um, with the goblins I did uh, red eyes, but with the orcs, I'm going to give them the, more of a natural eye color. Now that I've done the, uh, the sleeve, uh, sleeve or cover for the sword and the eyes, I'm going to give the um, sleeve for the sword, or the sword cover, a uh, highlight of Vallejo Game Effects Rotten White. Um, it's basically a white, but it's got like a little off color to it, which I like. And I'm just going to, like I said, give it a bit of a highlight. I don't have to highlight the straps, but I want it white. So I'm going to make it white. Alright, now that I've highlighted the, um, the sword sleeve uh, with the rotten white, there's some straps on it as well, um, and his teeth. I'm going to paint with Vallejo Iraqi sand. I've thinned down this paint, paint quite a bit just to keep a lot of the detail I guess around the straps so I want to try and get away without using a wash on them but we'll see Not bad. All right, so I did the uh, wraps around the sword sleeve and the teeth. Now it was a little bit bright, so I am going to go ahead and give it a wash of uh, seraphim sepia from Citadel. Should darken it up, give it a bit of an orangey brown color. Um, a little bit more detail on it. Wasn't quite happy with the finish. Either. Hopefully this will make it um, a little bit better. Okay, now that I clean that up with the uh, the sapia, seraphim sapia wash, um, I like it a lot better. So now we're gonna go, and his axe is actually stone, except for the middle in here. So we're gonna go and paint that with uh, Vallejo London Gray. I'm gonna thin this down quite a bit as well. Okay, now that I've finished painting it with London Grey, the uh, axe head, um, I'm going to give him a wash of uh, Citadel Nalna Oil, or Shade.
All right, now that I've put the uh, black wash on top of the ax, um, I'm gonna give it a dry brush. The stone, anyways. I'm gonna dry brush it with Vallejo Deck Tan. And this will just give it like the, the chips type of look. The stone. Be good on the edges. All right, so I'm done with the uh, the stone axe. Um, now I'm going to be working on my metallics on these guys. And the first metallic I'm going to use is Scorex Bronze, and I'm going to be using that for um, the handles of stuff. Um, there's no handle on the axe, but I'm going to use it for the handle of the sword that he has by his waist. Scorex Bronze. Alright, now that I'm finished with the uh, the bronze on the sword handle, I'm going to give all my bronze a wash with uh, Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade. Once again, wash will help give it some definition. Once that dries up, it'll be a little bit darker. And I'll hit up the rest. All right, so now we're at the last color and then shade for uh, this orc. So I'm gonna paint everything that's not painted yet, um, all the metal with uh, Citadel Base uh, Lead Belcher. Um, there's a lot of little areas. Um, the belt buckle and then his armor some on the axe um, that's holding the stone together the shield Okay, now that I've got all the silver finished up, um, the last step is I'm not gonna give a, I'm gonna give an, a coat of non-oil um, wash on all the silver. This is gonna be the last step um, when I come back. I'm gonna show you them when they're done with the bases all done and stuff like that. Okay guys, so I finished painting them, finished the base and stuff like that. Um, I am now completely done, Massive Darkness. I painted everything that uh, I had for it. Unfortunately, I would have had more painting tutorials or videos on Massive Darkness, but I started late in the game filming YouTube channel. Um, so this is this guy, all complete. Um, I also did the other models of the orcs while I was doing this one. Um, this guy is my favorite. He's pretty beefy. <clears throat> He's all finished as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed these massive darkness videos. Um, 
there is a lot to paint in these ones. Um, but um, we'll go on to the next project. I have no clue what that's going to be. But these guys were super fun to paint. And, um, you know, I'll just keep one there for now. If you like these painting videos, or you want to see more, if you want to see them better, let me know by uh, hitting the like button and uh, by subscribing as well. Thank you very much, guys. This is another painted by Polybones Tabletop Miniatures.